A former NFL player has now come out and revealed that he suffered a sudden stroke out of nowhere, a pretty severe one too, which he said almost took his life. We're going to get into all the details of it here in just a second. First, guys, if you could, if YT lets you, try and hit the like button for me. Very important. Also, please share the video. Help us get around those algorithms. Hit the bell, subscribe for the glasses because I'm blind. I remind you guys, a couple different ways you could help donate here to my ministry. One, you can click the super thanks down below on this video. Uh, you can select a donation amount, attach a comment to it. It'll pop up down below in the comment section. Or you can help me out on Patreon, signing up for just five bucks a month at patreon.com slash conservative truth. I got to thank you guys. Not only did we hit our goal for the month of January, trying to get five new patrons, we exceeded it. We're at six right now. And hey, a couple days are still left in the month. So hey, let's just keep it going. When you guys sign up to Patreon, you get alerted for all my content. Very important because if you only watch my videos through the YT alerts, trust me, you're not going to get them all. It's just the way that it works. You'll get a couple here and there, but not all. So go to Patreon to make sure you never miss a single video I put out. Also there, you can leave your comments on these videos completely censorship free. No worry about YT blocking or moving what you guys are saying. You can send direct messages to me as well. So check out the platform. I think you'll like it. Patreon.com slash conservative truth. Big thank you to everybody already contributing and those thinking of doing so. Thank you as well. Your generosity is greatly appreciated. Let's talk about former NFL player Chris Swaggy Baker. Played nine seasons in the NFL. Uh, got his college ball started back with Penn State. Um, this was back in 2007. However, he was expelled for off-campus fight. So yeah, this is someone that you know would get themselves into some physical altercations. You know, which is probably why he was so interested in football. He later then transferred to Hampton University before then signing with the Denver Broncos in 2009. He only played one game for them. He would then go on to play for the Miami Dolphins. Again, only one game there. But his breakout years, this really came when he uh, went to go play for what was then known as the Washington Redskins, where he played with them from 2011 to two, uh, 2016 as a defensive tackle, uh, became a big fan favorite there uh, during his time with them. After that, he would later go on to play for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers uh, before finally ending his career with the Cincinnati Bengals, where he um, was released back in 2018. He did not play for another NFL team after that. But about a week ago, so around January 20th or, or so, this is even according to Chris's mother, Chris suffered uh, a very severe stroke. Now, he detailed this himself, in fact, in an Instagram post that he put out um, about two days after the stroke took place. And he told everybody on his Instagram, he said, everybody, I want to let you know, I, you know, I just suffered a stroke. I can't even believe that it happened. He said, please tell your loved ones how much you love them. He goes, but I'm still here and God is not done with me yet. Now, he also had put out a video on Instagram uh, showing him actually in the hospital uh, where he was talking with one of the nurses there. His mother had even said that after the stroke had took place that Chris had to go ahead and undergo surgery. But doctors right now are saying that he is responding very well to the treatment that he's been given. And they're saying that he's basically acting as if, you know, the stroke was mild, even though it wasn't. So uh, Chris is really giving credit to God for that. Now, no official word on, you know, the length of his recovery and how long that's going to take. But thankfully, it looks like he's doing okay um, as of right now, post-surgery and all that. But very scary. Now, here's the thing, too. Chris is only 35 years old. Okay, so he's very young. So we take a look at this, and again, all these athletes dropping, you know, strokes, heart attack, whatever it is. Now, of course, Chris, you know, left the NFL prior to everything going on with the pinchy, but doesn't mean that it, that couldn't have been the reason that this happened to him. Um, again, why are young people, especially like him, suffering strokes and heart attacks and things like that? Look, we could take a look at the common trend. What's the theme here? What's the pattern? It always goes back to the pinchy. Now, I'm not saying that's what it is, but I mean, you know, at some point we have to see the link here. It's just, um, it's, it's unbelievable and uh, very scary knowing that uh, for so many people that have taken this thing, 
you know, what are they thinking to themselves? You know, when they see all this going on, are they thinking, are they next? You know, buyer's remorse. I know there's a lot of people out there that have buyer's remorse for taking it. And let me say this too, that as Christians, you know, we should act in love towards these people. A lot of them did not want to take it. And I know that a lot of times they get beat up on because they did it and we go back and forth and exchange things. And look, I know there's some that took this thing and they rubbed it in everybody's face and they made other people feel less than and, you know, and, and said things about, you know, those who wouldn't take it. But there was also those that didn't do that and they took it because they actually thought it was generally going to keep them safe and protect them. Um, and they were lied to. Well, it doesn't mean that we should beat up on them for that because uh, a lot of them are probably very scared right now. Uh, but you know what? Be in prayer for Chris that he can continue to make a full recovery here. They're not seeing the cause of the stroke. You know, doctors playing the baffled game like they, you know, normally do. So I'll leave it there. I'll leave it up to you guys to decide what you think it could have been. But again, pray uh, for Chris's recovery here that um, he can get back to, uh, you know, full life again with no issues. Um, what I want to do right now, though, is I want to end this video on hope which is something I do on all my videos. This is part of my ministry outreach. Not only do I talk about the end time Bible prophecy headlines and keep you guys up to speed with everything that's going on, but we do it because we're trying to get people to Jesus Christ here in these last days. So if you're watching this video right now and you're someone that has not yet accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior, I want to lead you in a prayer to do that right now. This is a prayer you could do in your own words, but I will give you the steps you need to bring it before the Lord today. First thing that you want to do right off the top, acknowledge that you are a sinner. Now that is something that we all are. The good news is that God gave his only son, Jesus Christ, to die on that cross for the sins of all the world. As he died and rose again for you and me. He paid the cost. What you have to do is repent of your sin. Repent means to turn from your sin, not just to say you're sorry and then jump back into your old ways, but to actually turn from sin, which are those lifestyles, habits, patterns, behaviors, the things in your life that go against the word of God. If you would humbly go before the Lord, though, and ask him to forgive you, he'll wipe your sin away. The Bible says he doesn't remember it any longer. And then you invite Jesus into your life to be your Lord and Savior. When you do that, you become born again, a child of God. You will have eternal life. Trust me when I tell you there is no greater decision you will ever make than the one you do to give your life to Christ. And I pray you make that decision today. I will have more on this down below. You guys can let me know your thoughts. Don't forget the links to donate to our ministry are there as well. You can click the super thanks down below, attach a donation amount that'll appear with a comment that you can leave down below, or you can help me out on Patreon, patreon.com slash conservative truth. Sign up for five bucks a month. You guys are great. We hit our goal for the month of January, trying to get the five new patrons. We exceeded it, in fact, with six of them right now. And hey, the month's not over. We can get a few more. Why not? Let's do it, guys. It's all a great blessing. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you. And I'll talk with you soon.